Hey, what's going on, everybody? My name is Chris. I'm here with Kathy, and we go by Ginger Marvin on Instagram and YouTube, and we have another What's Old video for you today. It is Saturday morning, and we're going to be shipping out today. We don't normally ship on Saturdays, but it is a holiday on Monday, so we're going to go ahead and pick and ship our sales for today. I'm going to turn over to Kathy so we can see what was sold. Hello, friends. All right, let's start in box F today. This was a cool sale. We actually just listed this last night. Uh, Mountain Khakis is the brand. I like this brand. I've only found it a few times, but it sells well. Um, I actually bought these at Play-Dohs for $18.99, which is kind of a lot, but mm -hmm. I figured I could probably double my money, which I did. I actually made close to a $30 profit. They sold for $54.95 plus shipping just overnight. Well, not even overnight, like within yeah, an hour. Yeah, those were quick. Um, yeah, I never got around to cross-posting them or anything. What did I do for these? I think I did a regional A box, yeah. So they, I mean, I could have probably refolded them and squished them hard into a padded flat rate, but that person lives in Texas, so it was only a tiny bit more to ship them in this regional A box. Right. I think it was literally like four cents more, so that's fine with me versus <laughs> trying to repackage it. Right. So. Well, you said four cents? Yeah. Yeah. Like I mean, if we had to repack, we might end up having to use a new cellophane bag, which there's the four cents right there, right. so. Um, so. Yep. I'm happy with that. So yeah, um, my thought with those though at Play-Dohs, I was like, well, even if I don't, I'm trying to get to like a 20% coupon at Play-Dohs so I can do like a big sourcing trip there because like their prices are a lot, but they have nice things and usually don't need any cleaning or work, um, yeah. especially shoes. So if I can get to that 20% coupon, I think you have to spend like 300 bucks or something. Um, hmm then I can go do that big sourcing trip. So it's like, if nothing else, I know I'm not gonna lose money on that. I'll probably make 10 bucks profit and I'll get closer to my coupon. So yeah, but yeah I'm actually glad I grabbed them because they sold fast. Bonus that it sold super fast. Uh, a lot of the Play-Doh stuff that I just listed, it already has watchers. So I think it's all gonna sell fairly quickly. All right, this is a Crew Cuts Kids Blazer. I actually bought this for 50 cents um, years ago at Salvation Army, and I remember because they used to have 50 cent Fridays for all, the whole kids department was 50 cents. That's when I did JBF mostly, and I'd go every Friday, mm. fill my cart, I'd go through the whole kids section, anything that was in decent shape I got pretty much. So yeah. this I remember because I kept this one for my kids, and I was like, oh, we'll have a special occasion to wear this. This is like four years ago. <laughs> They've never won it. <laughs> so 50 cents, four years later, sold it for 20 bucks plus shipping. So it was worth picking up, definitely. But hey, um, <laughs> it's better to have it and not need it yeah, that's true. <laughs> for the special I think occasion. I put it in our suitcase when we went on our cruise and everything a few years ago, but just they didn't wear it. All right, I'm going to pack that in this little dino mailer. All right, and then BQ. Please, did you leave us? Uh, I think you might be trying to get some food off the table. All right. Uh, this is the Cabela's. Just, I don't know if you'd call it a flannel. They call it a deer skin soft chamois. 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 How do you say that word? Uh, <laughs> C H A M O. -S. It might be chamois. I'm not sure. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, heavy. Oh, okay. Heavyweight. Well, it feels like a flannel. Anyways, I've been doing well with Cabela stuff recently. This was cheap. Um, well, my whole sourcing trip this day was cheap. I did average my cost of goods, so it was three sixty-five, but it sold for twenty-seven twenty-five plus shipping in just, I would say, a week or so. Yeah. So I'm very happy with that. Yeah, I remember folding that one up. That one did have an interesting yeah. feel to it. <laughs> it was very thick, though. Yeah. But it does fit in a pad of flat rate, thankfully. Hey, what were you doing down there? What were you doing? <laughs> you don't see me. <laughs> BG. All right, I just sold three Gap items today. So Mulberry and Sal. Uh, two of them are our kids, but one I personally specifically picked up to resell. This was one of my kids' flannels. Um, I bought this off Facebook for eight. He wore it a time or two. I sold it for thirteen fifty. Free ship on Kitizen. Uh, shipping's four fifteen after fees and everything. I'm making back like seven dollars and change. So mostly got to wear that for a couple cents. Yeah. Less than a dollar. <laughs> All right. And CJ. What are you doing? What are you doing? 
What are you doing? You being you? <laughs> Good boy. The brand I've been doing well with, I've just been picking up almost anything I see, um, is L.L. Bean. So this is one of them. And by anything I see, I don't want to say anything because I don't want you guys <laughs> to run out and go like, just Buy pick anything. up the most basic <laughs> yeah. of basic things, which this seems pretty basic, but it was um, wool blends, which is why mm -hmm. I got this. Mm -hmm. so. Anyways, um, yeah, I did pay $6.99 for this, but it sold in, again, under a week for $38 plus shipping on Mercari. So, very happy with that. Yeah. It's just a basic Henley shirt. Yeah, Kathy does keep her eyes out for wool, yeah. wool blends. And, I mean, I liked L.O. Bean anyways right now. Like, I just, it's selling well. Yeah. So, I saw that shirt. I was thinking about picking it up, but then I was like, oh, it's so plain. And then I was like, oh, it's wool. So I'm definitely going to grab it. Right. All right. V. Chacos. Okay. This is a good sale. I've actually had these listed a while, and I think it's because I kind of listed them after, probably in the fall, when people were not really looking for sandals anymore. Mm -hmm. um, but I did pay $8.99 for these Chacos, sold them for $65 on Posh today. So Sweet. that was an offer I accepted. Those I think will fit nicely in a maybe a medium fly rate box. I think Reese thinks your next package is coming out from over there now. Uh, right. <laughs> what is he? AM. You're wrong, Reese. <laughs> Close. Wrong. <laughs> this is the gap item I purchased specifically to resell. Uh, you can't see it from here, but you'll see on the screen it's the reason I bought these was because they were new with tag, but also they have like floral embroidery all over them. Mm. So I thought they would do well. They did. They sold, I'd say, in about a week or so for $31 with discount shipping on Posh. And I had $7 into them. So Sweet. Happy with that. Let me think. I just do a mailing box, on regional, that. yeah. I haven't restocked my Tyvex yet. <laughs> we actually, I think the bag of them yeah. is right there. So. <laughs> All right. AU. Talbot sweater. Shout out Becky Park. She's always selling Talbot for <laughs> crazy amounts. I pick up some pieces. This one I obviously picked up specifically because it was 100% cashmere. Mm -hmm. I checked it over like 400 times to make sure there was no holes because mm -hmm. this is the stuff that always has hidden holes, but I did not see any. It's in really, really good shape. Um, I only paid $3.93 for it. That was my average cost of goods this day. Sold it for $36.35 plus shipping. So that sold really quickly. Nice. And I'll send that out in a floral mailer. Shout out Becky Park. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hanging. Oh yeah, this is the one we were making jokes about the other day. <laughs> we couldn't figure out, well, I originally thought it was men's. Found it in the men's department. Then when I was listening and I was like, man, the measurements just seem small. It's a men's large. The pit to pit was like 22, I think, which to me, that's more of like a medium for mm -hmm. men. So we were just trying it on and trying to figure it out. Um, <laughs> finally, Google Lens found the exact pattern and everything. And we yeah. figured it was men's and we looked at the size chart and the measurements actually matched like exactly. So yeah. I do think it probably fits smaller than a large, but hopefully the person read the measurements. Mm -hmm. So anyway, it's just a really nice, Thick heavy duty Sherpa line flannel with the pocket, so a jacket with the hood. I yeah. really liked that colorway too. Yeah. And it has elbow patches, so it was just a cool shirt. I did pay up at $9.99 for it, but I accepted a $30 offer on Posh, so. Kathy got mad at me because I uh <laughs> I said that looks like my grandma's old couch. Oh. <laughs> and I didn't mean that as like an insult <laughs> because I actually have this weird kind of dream of having like a retro gaming room with a couch with something like that on there. And I, think it's, uh, I didn't mean to offend her, but I got in trouble that day. <laughs> I love that like rusty color. Yeah, I'd love to have a couch in that, <laughs> that color. Not in our living room, you know, obviously, but. Um, these we haven't put away a few pairs I've listed, but these are a pair of Hoka. I paid $10.99 for these. They were, they're still really dirty. I did wash them in the washing machine. Um, they were way dirtier. They did come clean, but 
Anyway, so you can still see all the stains yeah. on them and stuff. And they also, their insoles are like switched out to super feet insoles. So. Okay, so not original insoles. Yeah. So I listed them, I think, at 59, expecting, you know, 40 to 50. I think in this condition. I mean, the soles are really good, like not really super worn down like they usually get. Mm -hmm. So I got an offer of 35, so I would have accepted 40. So I just went ahead and accepted 35. So I make 28, I paid 10.99. They sold in just a day or two of being listed. So yeah, I'm happy with that for the condition those were in. Yeah. But yeah, Hoka's, you can still, if you can find them cheap, even in really bad shape, you can make some money off them. All right, these I think we'll put in a regional B box. Okay, then CZ. These are TK Axle jeans. I have never heard of this brand. I guess uh, these pockets like looked interesting to me, so I mm. probably just picked them up for that reason. But honestly, I don't know. I'd probably pick them up again under five bucks. Maybe these cost me five fifty. I think I just wanted to take a chance. Yeah. They sold at twenty one dollars on Posh. I made probably my ten dollars, uh, maybe close to eleven dollar profit. Yeah. They didn't sell super fast, and I noticed when I was at Sam's Club the other day that they sell that brand, so I don't know oh, if it's okay. terribly expensive to begin with. Right. But that doesn't necessarily mean anything. Some people just like a certain brand, and then yeah. Sam's Club's random, so like they'll have it, and the next week they won't, so. Yeah. Um, I'll tell you, that's how I am. Sam's Club has those those fishing yeah. shirts that I like to get. Every time we go, we, <laughs> get we see one. if there's new colors <laughs> in my size. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'd pick them up probably under five bucks, but probably not much more than that. All right, box O, oh, my other Gap item. This was a personal kit item again. I don't remember where I bought this, but I sold it on Mercari for $9 plus shipping, so I'm making back around $8. Shoot that out in a mailer. Okay, lastly, BU. Oh, we caught the last waiting one. Waiting here to hold it. <laughs> you gotta, gotta give him the pet still. You've been waiting here to hold it. There's a good boy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is a pair of Curly Swim Chunks. I did pay $10 for these retail arbitrage and accepted a $24 offer, so about a $9 or so profit on those. Sweet. Um, so, yeah. Those were Poshmark. Yeah, I'll open that tie back so have here. All right. That's it for today. So, well, let me check them. <laughs> No sales. No new sales. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, that is, this is actually quite a bit. It's yeah, Saturday, Saturday, what is it? Morning. It's 1140, so. It's the holiday weekend. I don't yeah. wanna make these people wait, plus have a ton more on Monday or Tuesday. Yeah. Sweet. So we're going to go ahead and get this stuff packed up, and then maybe we'll have another sale to pack up <laughs> after we get that. Maybe I'll send some eBay offers. <laughs> <laughs> we'll check back in with you guys in a minute. All right, you guys. Got everything packed up. Reese is holding down the fort. How you doing? His eyeball. <laughs> He's just looking at it. Anyway, we did actually have one one more sale. Yeah, uh, Facebook, not one from my eBay yeah. offers I just sent yet. The funny thing is this sale came in literally yeah. like the second <laughs> I turned the camera off. Yep. But I figured we'd just wait. All right. Uh oh. <laughs> Do I see them there? There they are. Some Saucony women speakers. I paid $9.99 for these and sold them on Facebook for $29 plus shipping. Sweet. And they will ship out in a shoebox. So. Awesome. So yeah, that's this is. Uh, I'm actually impressed with the amount of sales going out this Saturday because yeah, we I mean, we packed average, up late yesterday, right? Yeah, I was just calculating. My average per day is still about twelve. So yeah, for the average day. number of sales. Yeah, for February. Or number of items going out. I mean, technically that's items, right? Because I right. just divided our profit by number of sales, and number of sales is just number of items. Individual right? items, yeah. Yeah, so doesn't take account bundles yeah. um but yeah we'll go ahead and pack that one off camera but yeah super excited about today because yeah like i said we packed up late yesterday because the kids were home from school it was a 
I don't know what kind of day was it. It was just a day off. I don't know why they have just random days off, but oh, it was a teacher work day. Anyway, we're going to get this stuff off to the post office today. And yeah, we've been, as many of you guys know, we've had a cold for the past couple weeks and we're going to spend some time with family today, have some tacos with the family that lives here in Colorado. So excited about that. Finally good enough, feeling good enough to get out and do that. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. We're going to cut it here and hopefully we'll see you guys in the next one. Hope you have a great weekend. Bye.